How do people come up with these names? Assalamu alaikum everyone, Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here. And today we're going to be talking about five special art installations that you can check out here in Qatar. I'm going to go check them out. The first is East West, West East by Richard Serra. This art installation is actually a sculpture that is made of four steel plates and you can see it in Buruk Nature Reserve. It spans over a kilometer and is 14 meters in height. So this sculpture was rolled in Germany, shipped via Antwerp, and then when it arrived in Qatar, craned and set up in the middle of the Qatari desert. And you know who selected the location? It was His Highness the Father Amir, Sheikh Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani. Yes, he was like, this is where it needs to go. And now it's one of the most popular art installations in the region. Why that location? It was because this was an area that he remembered as a kid growing up where a lot of antelope used to gather. And this art installation was completed in 2014. Do you know whenever I see that art installation, you know what I think of? I think of the doorway from uh, Twilight Zone. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. Number two is Pousse, or Thumb. And this was created by French artist Cesar Baltacini. That sounds like an Italian name. Maybe he's got like Italian roots. Cesar Baltacini! How would an Italian name sound in a French accent? You know what I mean? Cesar Baltacini. Like, that's... Like, have you ever thought of that? Nobody's ever thought of that. No one's ever said that before. You're asked. This one can be found in Sugwagif. Yes, if you've seen that golden structure, you know that this is Qatar giving a thumbs up to the world, letting the world know that, hey, everything's gonna be okay. Let me give you a little tip, uh, Tim. You wanna annoy a hater? Give him a thumbs up. Your Mac friend, Brent Rambo. Khalifa, you're so stupid. Khalifa, I'm way better than you. Khalifa, you're not funny. You're right, that, that is pretty annoying. Told you. Told you. The location was chosen because that's where a lot of people meet. And so, of course, it was the perfect spot. So basically, if you go to Guagif and you're not familiar with the location, just say, hey man, meet me by the poos. The thumb, yeah. Number three is Gandhi's Three Monkeys. Now, when you think of Three Monkeys, you probably think of the ones where doing this. But these three monkeys are pretty different. So the first one wears a gas mask, the second one wears a soldier's helmet, and the third one is an insurgent with a hood. It was completely made with cooking instruments. Now, as I said, typically when you think of the three monkeys, you think of these, right? Monkeys. I love monkeys. These sculptures are a homage to that. Speak no evil, see no evil, and hear no evil. And this was installed in 2008. If you want to go and visit it, it's located in Qatar, right next to the amphitheater. Right next to the, the what was it? The amphitheater. Oh, no. Number four is seven. What? Now, is it seven or four? It's, it's seven. It, we're on number four. Yeah, yeah, four is seven. In what universe? Just trust me, just go with it. I would never ask you to trust me. It's the cry of a guilty soul. This one was also created by Richard Serra. Richard Serra, you're on a roll, what's going on? This one is located in MIA Park. And the reason why it's called seven is because seven actually is a very important number in Islam. Now, if you've ever been to MIA, you would know that this is one of the designs, the architectural designs that was created by I.M. Pei. And I.M. Pei said, hey, you need to go talk to Richard Serra. He can do something pretty cool here. So it was based off of his recommendation. He couldn't come more highly recommend. The project took three years to make and was completed in 2011 and is comprised of seven steel plates. It's also the tallest ever artwork made by Sarah. You know how tall it is? 78 feet high. Something that was very interesting is that it was inspired by a minaret in Afghanistan. So why is seven so special in Islam and in our culture? There are seven verses in the first chapter of the Quran. Pilgrims walk seven times around the Kaaba during the pilgrimage. Pilgrims also throw seven stones at three walls representing stoning the devil. There are seven heavens in Islam and the Quran was revealed in seven dialects. That's a lot. Well, that's significant. Number five is Force of Nature 2. This one is located also in Katara Cultural Village and was created by Lorenzo Quinn. The sculpture is made of bronze, aluminium, and steel. And that lady that you see, 
that's supposed to represent Mother Nature. And that ball that she's pulling, that's the Earth. And she's flinging it around with full force. It's to represent the devastating force of nature. And of course, at the end of the day, we all gotta respect our mothers, right? Including Mother Nature. Mother Earth has provided all this. She's still your mother, I say. Respect that. All right, guys, so those were five pieces of art that you need to go and check out. Maybe go take a selfie with it. Go take some pictures. Just, just go. We've shared a little bit about their background and uh, hopefully you'll have a new sense of appreciation for those sculptures. Guys, if you like this episode, please don't forget to give us a like, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. And just imagine that bell is a nice, beautiful sculpture that you just have to click on. And if you've got any suggestions as well, please don't forget to ask us in the comment section below. Nice to have it.